Now, the majority of the items that we have on display in the Gallery of Historic Toys, we actually have their modern day counterparts here now. So in the G.I. Joe uh, display, you'll see right behind it, current G.I. Joe figures. With Barbie and Hello Kitty, if you look to the left or to the right, you'll actually find current versions of both of those items. For the most part, we've actually matched up our displays with the current merchandise. There are a lot of toys that we have on displays that are almost exactly the same now as they were when they were first introduced. A great example of that is the board game Sorry. If you look at Sorry, which we have on display from 1934, there are a couple of cosmetic changes to the board itself, but it's the exact same gameplay, the exact same spaces on the board. Everything looks the same with the exception of wood pieces were used in 1934 versus the plastic ones today, but it's essentially the same exact game and experience as you had in 1934. Beyond having toys in the Gallery of Historic Toys, we also have several artifacts from the FAO Shores archives. One of the oldest pieces we have is actually a ledger from 1909. This was the store ledger that was used to track international sales, uh, both sales and purchases. Parents come here all the time because FAO Shores is one of the biggest tourist attractions in New York City. So we'll always find parents and kids are very eager to be here, but of course, when they're walking through the displays and looking at the toys, you'll find both parents and kids looking into the glass, looking at the toys. We hear a lot of people saying, you know, I remember that. I had it as a kid.